Hello, my name is Celia, and this is my presentation on Lady Diana Spencer, better known as Princess Diana. Diana was born at Park House. She was the third child and youngest daughter of Edward John Spencer and became Lady Diana Spencer in 1975. After attending the finishing school in Switzerland, Diana returned to England and became a kindergarten assistant. On February the 24th, 1981, her engagement to Prince Charles was announced, and her beauty and shy demeanor, which earned her the name Shy D, met her an instant sensation with the media and the public. The couple married in St. Paul's Cathedral on July 29th, 1981. The first child, William Arthur Philip Lewis, was born on June 21st, 1982, and their second, Prince Harry Charles Albert David, on September the 15th, 1984. Princess Dee rapidly evolved into an icon of grace, elegance, and glamour. Behind the scenes, however, difficulties between the prince and the princess were growing. Diana struggled with severe depression, low self-esteem, and eating disorders. The couple's divorce became final in 1996 after Diana left her title of Her Royal Highness. She then later on was killed while attempting to evade journalists along with her companion, Dodi Foyed, and the driver, Henry Paul, in an automobile accident in Paris in 1997. Diana worked tirelessly on behalf of charities around the world, using her fame to raise awareness of a number of important humanitarian issues. She led a campaign for a worldwide ban on landmines. After a visit to Angola in 1997, Diana became anti-landmine activist's most prominent advocate. During that trip, the princess was photographed putting her own safety at risk as she worked through the recently cleared minefield. I'd read that statistics that Angola has the highest percentage of amputees anywhere in the world, that one person in 333 had lost a limb, most of them through a landmine explosions. But that hasn't prepared me for reality. Diana committed to a mine clearance work captured the public's attention, and decades after she started her campaign, the support for the cause continues. She also raised the awareness of leprosy. Diana traveled to countries with a high leprosy rate in order to remove the stigma surrounding the disease. As a patron of the leprosy mission, she visited hospitals in India, Nepal, and Zimbabwe, and by spending time with patients, she dispelled one of the myths surrounding the illness that had been passed on by touch. It has always been my concern to touch people with leprosy, trying to show in a simple action that they are not reviled nor are we repulsed, she said of the disease. It is also known that she inspired others to donate to charities. According to Princess Diana Memorial, set up in response to the donations which poured in at the time of her death, the general public and community groups donated around $44 million. By the time of the fund was closed in 2012, it had awarded 724 seven grants to 472 organizations and spent over $145 million on charitable causes. In March 2013, the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry took over the legal ownership of the fund, ensuring any future income is donated to charities. Diana also changed the world perception of AIDS and HIV. In April 1987, when speculations around the virus were rife, Diana was invited to open Britain's first AIDS ward. There, she was photographed while shaking hands with HIV-positive patients without wearing gloves, which made front-page news around the world. This publicly challenged the notion that HIV and AIDS was passed from person to person by touch and highlighted Diana's affection and compassion for people living with the disease. In the following years, she went on to make several bedside visits to patients at a number of hospitals. At the time of her death, Gavin Hart of the National AIDS Trust said, in our opinion, Diana was the foremost ambassador for AIDS awareness on the planet, and no one can fill her shoes in terms of the work she did. Diana was not afraid to get her hands dirty. Her too short life touched millions, and her legacy of compassion, kindness, and generosity will be an example for future generations.